In this video, I will show you how to add headers and footers to Microsoft Word, which was inspired by John McGarvey in the post shown here. Let's take a look. To edit the header or footer, simply double click within that area. I just double clicked within the footer. It now takes me to the edit mode of the header footer. I also see an extra tab that now has design options for the header and footer. The first thing we're going to do is include a page number. In the header footer section of the design ribbon, we have our page number options. They may be placed at the top of the page. We see some samples of how that might look to the left, centered, and to the right. We also have towards the bottom of the page. We can also decide to put them in the margin areas, uh, current position, which would be wherever the mouse pointer is currently residing. All right. And we can format the page numbers as well. I'm going to go ahead and click on that. And this allows me to choose from various formats, uh, ranging from alphabetical, Roman numeral, numerical. We can also include a chapter, which will pull from a heading style. Very helpful when we have a long document and we want to be clear about which particular chapter that we have. And if you don't use heading one for your chapters, you simply choose the proper style that might have been attached to your chapter title. You can also continue from the previous section or start at any number that you decide. I'm going to go ahead with the defaults right now without the chapter number. So I'm going to go ahead and hit cancel so that I don't activate any changes that I might have made. And I'll put in a basic page number in the center. And there it is. The good news is for every page I have, that number will auto increment. We're also going to focus on quick parts. Quick parts are another way that we could have auto text some sort of document property. So the property metadata, such as the author, the company, we can go ahead and put that in. And then when that metadata changes at the properties area, it will update in our header and or footer. I'm not going to actively add a quick part at this time. Just wanted to display them and show you what your choices are. To add a logo, I'll do that in the header area. So I've clicked into the header area. If I want to add an image, it's as simple as going to insert and choosing picture. Also on our design, we had the opportunity to insert a picture. But I wanted you to see that we don't have to exclude ourselves to choices that we see in this design area. When the header footer area is open in an edit mode, we may add absolutely anything that normally we can put in the body section. We're going to go ahead and put a picture in. If the picture is too large, we simply go ahead and size the image down. And of course, it being a picture, we have wonderful opportunities to add special effects to the artwork, whatever those might be. We can also go in and wash it out, do a nice little color wash, make it a little, a little more subtle along the way. Again, any content we normally put in a body section may also reside in the header footer. The benefit of residing in a header or footer is at the top of each page, I will always see the image. And at the bottom of each page, I will always see the page number. When we're done editing and making changes, we make sure we're on the design area, we have a, a command to close the header or footer. And now at the top of each page, I see the image. And at the bottom of each page, I also see the page numbers. So headers and footers are wonderful ways to make sure that each page is properly documented as belonging to a certain organization, having a certain topic, uh, page numbers, so if they happen to get out of order, we clearly know the order that they're in. Countless reasons to customize headers and footers. The good news is, Word makes it very user-friendly. Thanks again, John, for inspiring this video. Check out other posts at the link shown below.